Good morning, you juicy man all the way to George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Body Bending Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, hello everybody. This is close to the weekend. Yes. And uh, as you know, the upcoming weekend is Mother's Day weekend. And I hope y'all enjoyed that time with your moms. You know, it's a special time. Mothers are special women. I should know I had a special one in my life. So anyway, this is one of my another comparisons. This is volume number four and Moms with Muscles. And these are two ladies who are from two different parts of the world. And one of the ladies is a favorite lady of mine. I have done an interview with her. She's a great lady. She's very special. Um, I've been a fan of her for quite a long time. And that is one Miss um, uh, Alicia Aflerio uh, Mesa. And she is a great female bodybuilder. You know, great representation, great representation of the sport. And the lady across from is from the uh, country of Italy. You know, uh, pizza, meatballs, and, and uh, you know, and uh, gondoliers, you know. <laughs> and that's one Miss Silvia Amate, you know. And these are great, amazing women. And both, as you know, if you follow their social media, and um, on there, they're both also mothers, you know. Um, so, uh, um, <clears throat> Alicia is a mother of two, you know, her daughter, who looks just like her. You look at her, you know, she looks like a mother. And her son, Leo. I'm a big fan of Leo. Leo's a great kid, you know. And uh, uh, Salvia, she is also a mother of a daughter. And they're both amazing women. And great great representation of um, professionals in the sport of field of bodybuilding. And um, one thing you, people don't know about Miss um, Mette, Miss Mette, she is an archaeologist. That's, you know, surprising, you know. I remember I was watching this um, when they were competing. It was about a couple years back at the um, Rise of Phoenix. You know, when the Rise of Phoenix, she had to do a special uh, video. And they talked about how, you know, she was an archae archaeologist. And I said, wow, this, this chick who was a bodybuilder is also, she has a profession. She has a, you know, a degree or something like that. And that's the thing. Yeah, you, you never know about something. There's quite a few women in the sport who have, you know, who are very, you know, uh, smart, intelligent, you know, I remember there was a bodybuilder who was a uh, who worked for the space um, program. You know, and she, you know, and this was just you know, it's just not all of these ladies are just muscle heads and you know, and just know nothing but more about eating and prepping. They have an education too. But like I said, I'm a, quite a fan of both these ladies, and most definitely of Alicia. So let's get a little start here. We have a nice little starting pose. And you can really see the difference between these ladies. You know, Alicia's more of a, the leaner type. And, she, you know, and I did a video with Alicia before. She was in my um, No Silicone um, uh, series. And, she, and for a long time, she has stayed silicone free, which is, I think, kind of hard to do in this sport. So many women jumped over the silicone because judges say because, it, it, you know, to fit the idea of, you know, of what femininity is. But she stayed you know, silicone free. I respect her for that. But no offense to, um, you know, uh, uh, Sylvia's uh, choice. You know, everybody do what they feel, feel that um, fits for them. And most of the ladies have, you know, pretty much de decent uh, physiques. And right here we start here is a front lat spread. And right here you can really tell the difference. Uh, uh, Sylvia is a lot more wider, you know, around the shoulders. And especially she has more lat, de lat development. And, um... You know, Alicia is pretty good shape, and often I think I often I think I ask Alicia why she haven't jumped to physique. You know, she's a you know she's a little bit relieved. I think physique probably worked for her, but I think she says she's she's always been a female bodybuilder, and that's where she's at. And I respect her for that. You know, she's a great uh, representation of the sport of female bodybuilding. So, but here I have to give this to one to um, uh, Sylvia. Now here we have a front double, and. If you go by pure size, you go with Sylvia. If you go by more by conditioning, you go with Alicia. So I'm going to say with conditioning, I'm going with Alicia. Alicia just has, you know, just better definition compared to Sylvia. So right here, I'm going with Alicia. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm like my man, the coach. I'm balanced, but biased. So right now, I'm going with my biased side. That's why I'm going with Alicia. <laughs> And here we have a side chest. And once again, um, often I say like this, women with breast implants, what that does, when breast implants get in the way of the definition of your pectoral muscles. And with Alicia, with not having, never having um, breast implants, you can really see the definition of her chest. 
and you know you can see the development you can see the you know separation the styration you know she has a great um uh chest development so that's why here i'm going with alicia when it comes to her side chest now here we're going with the back and you know Selvia is much more wider in the back compared to um alicia alicia has some great traps but we go by width and flat spread you you know we have you pretty much you have to go with salvia so honestly this is one this is one round where salvia wins and right here we have rear double and if you go by pure definition you see the marbling the muscle you 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 have to go with alicia yes i i should be more balanced but i'm gonna be balanced biased here because I, I i'm a fan of alicia i love alicia she's a, always had a great look to her i have to go with alicia when it comes to pure um, definition, it's this one here is Alicia. Now here we have a tricep, and mm, you know Sylvia looks you know Sylvia looks pretty good right here, and Alicia looks pretty good. And if you really look at the details in it, you know how the muscle is, the development is right here, and like look at the lower shoulder, you know between them. Mm, this is one here. I'm you know. My, bi my bias part is talking to me, but my balance part is telling me, and I think my balance is going to tell me go with, Sal with Salvia. So I have to go with Salvia on this one. So I'm sorry, Alicia. This one goes here to Salvia. She has more definition in her upper, in her upper shoulder, you know, lower shoulder than, she, you know, than you. So yeah, this is one here. I have to go with uh, Salvia. As I said again, I'm a fan, not a judge, but sometimes a fan has to go with his, you know, what, what he knows best sometimes. And here we have... Uh, abdominal shot and most definitely the best abs has to go with Alicia. Alicia has great abs and here, and, and especially being a woman having two children. And often I said that women who, depending on how uh, the severity of their, um, of the pregnancy, you know, if, if it doesn't affect the, the abdominal wall too bad, you know, some women have great ab development. You know, some women can have great ab development, but in some cases, like I said before, um, if it's, you know, if the, the, uh, the childbirth was very, uh, have, a, you know, real severe effects to the abdominal, um, uh, to the abdominals, then sometimes your abs not going to be as good. But, um, here with this one, it is definitely a, a win for, um, Alicia. Now, like I said, and now here we're going to start with a nice, uh, bicep shot. And you go by pure size and peak. I have to go with uh, uh, Salvia. Salvia has a little bit more size to it. Like I said, Alicia, I think one thing with Alicia is that even though some might consider her small for her division in bodybuilding, she was pretty uh, uh, tight to me. You know, she's pretty tight. You know, but she has a great physique, a great body. I always love her body. You know, just how lean it was. And I think maybe... You know, I know she probably wouldn't, you know, consider it, but she might need to move over. I think she did compete in physique one time, but I think physique probably would have a better division for her, you know. But, you know, that's up to her, you know. She, you know, right now, you know, that's, you know, that's, either, that's neither here or there. Here we go with glutes. And, you know, mm, glutes is just, if you go pure tight glutes, I have to go, my, 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 my bias tie is telling me go with Alicia, and I'm going with Alicia. So I'm listening to my balance, my bias side. Sorry, balance, not today. I'm listening to bias. <laughs> so I'm going with glutes. I'm going with Alicia. And like I said, I'm both. These are both lovely women. Both women of um, from different sides of the country. You know, as you know, I said before, uh, Alicia's from Argentina. She's been living in the United States for quite some time. You know, as I said before, I did a video where she gained her American citizenship about a, you know, about two or three years ago. And Salvia is still living in Italy, you know, and, you know, Italy, you know, she, she was supposed to be competing um, sometime last year. But, you know, because of the uh, pandemic, you know, it really messed up uh, the, the season. A lot of competitors couldn't come over here and compete. Some, there was a couple of shows overseas, but um, I think Salvia probably took the time to really want to work out some things. I follow on social media also. Um, Alicia, she's, you know, she's been focusing, you know, she's taking her family. I know recently I, oh, um, I was in contact with her. She mentioned that Leo was at home because, uh, one of her, his classmates had caught the, uh, the virus and he was staying at home. But these are amazing women. Great, um, you know, 
you know, physical specimens of female bodybuilding. You know, um, just I'm a big fan of both of them. But like I said, um. I'm like I said, I'm a bigger fan of Alicia Flerio. Now, Alicia right now, she has not competed since I think about 2017, 2018. And right now she's now um an NPC judge. She just did a show about uh ooh, about a week or so ago. And that's a good thing for her. You know, she's becoming a judge. She might be thinking about coming back and compete. You know, that's you know, that's a possibility. You know, it's you know, it's just hard. She's as you know, instead of again, these ladies are still athletes. And most like most athletes um, it's just, you just can't just walk away. You still have that, um, that drive to compete. But like I said, her as a, her life as a judge is a pretty good thing. Cause you know, she's an experience. And I think right now, um, even though that, um, Italy has been hard hit from the uh, pandemic. Um, I think, uh, Sylvia Maddie is still competing. She's still trying to, she's still trying to, you know, she's working out. I follow on social media. She's trying to stay in shape. She wants to compete. Um, she's look. There's a there's a possibility she might do you know because she you know one thing to travel to the United States she had to quarantine in Turkey or Mexico so you got to do like two weeks there two weeks back that's a month that's a lot of money to spend so there's a good chance she might do a show in um the show supposed to be coming in Portugal and also the uh, Muscle Fest so she might do some shows overseas but knowing her she probably would rather come here and compete because there's more shows here and more opportunities but um. Let's hope in 2022, once this uh, pandemic is settled and then things get a little better, we'll get to see, um, you know, Sylvia come back, you know, you know, compete some shows over here. And maybe we might see um, Alicia also compete next year. So that's just, uh, let's just, you know, keep our fingers crossed, everybody. You know, but like I said, these are two great ladies, two great mothers and great representation of women in the sport of female bodybuilding. You should be on the Rage Church page, a.k.a. The Emperor of Human Body Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.